I thought after 30 years of working on computers, I knew just about everything. But today, I learned something new and I wanted to share it with all my viewers. So for those of you who have used older versions of Windows, you might be familiar with a program called System Restore. It's a built-in utility that allows you to quickly restore Windows settings, hardware drivers, and other boot up configurations in case your computer suddenly doesn't start correctly because of failed Windows updates or some other problem. By default, it's been enabled on every version of Windows that you can remember, except for some reason in Windows 10. So today I'm going to show you how to quickly enable this feature in case you ever run into a problem booting your computer. There's several ways to do this, but the simplest way is to click on your search bar down at the bottom and just simply type in System Restore and hit Enter. You get a box that pops up here with System Properties. You want to make sure your local disk C is the one selected and then simply click Configure. At the top of the box that pops up, click on Turn On System Protection. And what that does is that actually turns on System Restore. Down at the bottom, you have a choice of how much space you want to use for your restore points. Obviously, the more space you use, the more restore points you have. I usually recommend about 5% of your drive, which is more than enough for dozens and dozens of restore points. If you start running low on space, you can always minimize this, but it's better to have that space available if you need it. So once you select your number, just click Apply and then OK. And now at this point, as you can see, the system restore is enabled. And then what you want to do, if your computer is working properly, is just click on Create. And at this point, you can just give it a friendly name. Uh, you don't need to add a date. It'll automatically add that when Windows creates this restore point. So what I will do is I will call this Making a YouTube Video. That tells me when I look through my restore points, okay, I created that restore point when I made that video, I remember how my computer was running, and then if I ever need to restore it back to a certain point, I can just select that friendly name and choose that and restore from there. So it'll take just a couple seconds. What it's doing is it's just gathering important system information, driver information, boot configuration settings, basically all the things that make your computer work like it's supposed to, and compiles that all into one restore point that you can select later. Okay, so the restore point was created successfully. You can click close and then just to test it, click on system restore right here and you will see the system restore prompt. You click next and there you go. There's the one I just created and you see it's got the friendly name and all you have to do if you needed to restore is select the one you want, click next and turn it loose and all of a sudden your computer will be working perfectly again. So that's all you have to do to enable the system restore in Windows 10. Now, if your computer doesn't boot up correctly after installing a program or Windows updates, you can quickly and easily restore it back to a previous working copy. And in case you're wondering, System Restore only restores Windows settings to allow you to boot your computer again. Rolling back to a previous restore point will absolutely not affect or delete any files you have saved on the computer. It doesn't affect email or anything like that, so no worries about your personal files. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell to get notified every time I release a new video like this. Let me hear your comments down below too. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next video.